Hey guys, I did a video about two weeks after my wife died. If you don't know what happened, my wife got the flu earlier in the year and it turned into acute respiratory distress syndrome and she finally died after being in the hospital for three weeks. So, um, you know, it's been rough and um, I made a lot of videos talking about that and I think it was kind of good therapy for me and also a few other people seem to appreciate you know hearing the stories as well but anyway I made a video saying today is all there is and I've been living that way ever since she died basically what I'll do is I'll plan for today so I'll live today and then plan something for tomorrow before I go to bed hopefully sometimes I don't plan anything and then I don't get anything done but that's basically it. I try not to spend much time worrying about the past or the future because I figure I may not wake up tomorrow. That's, that's my perspective on life now is I may not wake up tomorrow. So I'm going to enjoy today the best that I can, plan something for tomorrow. And I'm not going to plan, you know, way down the road, a year down the road. I mean, if I have to make a doctor's appointment or something and it's a you know, a few weeks or a month off or something, I do that. But as far as planning, actually planning things out, you know, in the future, a month ahead, a year ahead, all that, I just can't see it. I just can't. My wife used to always, you know, be worried about, well, you know, what if something happens to you and, uh, you know, I'm not going to have enough money. And she's always worried about this stuff that could happen. And it was all just a waste of time because it didn't happen. She's the one who died and I'm still here. And so that's the way, um, you know, I've been living. I'd like, for example, today, um, went to bed last night and I thought, well, if I can think of something, maybe I'll make a video when I get up in the morning. And then I've been trying to do two four mile walks per day. Finally, I had the, I had my double spinal fusion surgery about 17 months ago and I've had little spurts of you know, doing walks and then I keep overdoing it and flare the nerves in my legs up and then I have to stop and let them calm down and that usually takes a couple of weeks and then I lose the progress that I made. So I've probably been walking steady for about a good month now and I'm up to like two four mile walks a day which is the best I've done so I'm kind of excited about that so I'm focusing on trying to get my body as healthy as I can. So that's where my focus is right now. So I'm going to try to, um, once I'm done with this, do a walk and maybe go to Walmart and pick up my painkiller prescription and then maybe just come home this afternoon and try to do another walk. So that's my plans for today. That's how I get through the day. I hear people just always talking about stuff in the past and you know, complaining about it, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, all that stuff. That's a waste of time. Worry about today. The past doesn't matter. Worry about today. And, you know, maybe a little bit in the future more than I do, but that's a positive thing. Don't worry about the past. Just worry about today. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time. Life ain't always beautiful. Sometimes it's just plain hard Life can knock you down It can break your heart 